Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Dark Strider, and right now you're watching part 2 of my playthrough of Resident Evil Zero. Now, we're starting this video off with uh, Billy and Rebecca, and they actually crawled right through this little manhole here. This is actually a sewer. This is going to be the main hole. You're actually going to have like a lot of opportunities to pass to and from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop off this hook shot. We'll need it later, but for now, we'll just leave it there. And what we really do need over here are these herbs. So we could get Rebecca back into fighting shape. never understood in these Resident Evil games who thought to drop all these different items just all around. Like right now in my house I'm not thinking, you know, just in case of a zombie apocalypse, let me leave a couple of uh, shotgun shells laying around. Let me hide something underneath the, the coffee table just in case uh, uh, some secret SWAT team decides to come and wipe out zombies. Who thinks of this? Wow. Headshot. Alright. This this basically is going to be... Uh, it almost looks like the mansion itself, but obviously it's not. We're going to be doing a lot of back and forth through here as well. I really hate when Billy or Rebecca get in my way there. Let me just check their bullets. You got 11. You got 3. Let's combine. There we go. We're not going to go down that way. That's like a little boiler room, but we don't need that boiler room right now. This little black statue over here. We're gonna need that. We really don't need the uh, gas here, unless you're making models of cocktails. But for right now, it's not so necessary. That shotgun was though, and we're not gonna go up that ladder either. That that's not necessary right now. Like I said, we're going to be running through back and forth through this main area repeatedly. So the black statue that we just found, we can leave in here too. It's not even complete. We're going to find the parts for it, but for now, we'll just leave it here. Okay, now this area, what we want to do, we want to grab this first. This notice is actually going to give us information that we need. Remember 815 as the code. Then there's nothing else in here except a bunch of birds you can hear, obviously. We're going to grab this over here, this crank handle, and we're going to run. Don't even fight with them, just run. Ah, Rebecca has to come out. She's fighting the birds. Come on, Rebecca. There we go. Follow me. Okay. Okay. 
All right, now right back here, that scale, we're going to use the black statue on that scale, but we're not going to use it right now, obviously. Like I said, it's not complete. So this classroom over here, we're going to look in this corner. More shells and ink ribbon and typewriter if you really needed it. We really don't. Now, this is all locked here. We're going to open those knight statues in a little bit. For right now, we're just going to go through here. Okay, now over here, we're going to grab the map on the table so that we know where we are. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab this film. We're going to grab it for now. We might drop it in the hallway as well. We may not need it right this second. But here, we're going to get ready. We're going to do a couple of things to prepare. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to give Rebecca the shotgun. She's going to need it. Billy's going to have the handle. Let's split up. Roger. So now Billy's going to come over here. He's going to put the crank handle in place. Before he does anything, Rebecca's going to get on here and she is going to equip the shotgun. Being that Billy has more space, we probably want to give him a couple of the things as well. Well, not the weapon. Here, we could give him this as well. Okay, now... Billy's going to use this lift, and we're going to send Rebecca out. Automatically, the action's going to switch to Rebecca. Aim down when you're firing in this thing. Two good shots will do it. Come back over here. There we go. Yeah, why not the handgun ammo? <clears throat> now you got to remember this spot because we're going to come back to it later on as well. Right, now as we go through here, there's going to be a bunch of crows attacking you. Grab the, the herbs if you can at your like convenience. Don't just go crazy trying to grab them because of that right there. Crows attacking you. Red herb in the corner here. Woo! Right, she's not going to be able to take any more herbs, but there are more herbs. Well, no, there's all the herbs there. We're just going to go through here. And we're getting ready to open another door for Billy so that Billy could come through. But first, you're in this weird room here. You're going to be coming back to this room as well. Got to go around here. Got to go around the corner. Okay. Now this door is unlocked. Billy's going to run out this room. Hey. 
That guy should have been dead. Okay. I'm gonna go right back out into the main hall. Like I said, I'm gonna be there a million different times. And this is the door that Rebecca unlocked, so we're just going to go right to it. This way. Roger. God, I actually want to switch them around. Let me see how they are with ammunition. Okay, she's decent. He's okay. Okay, now this room is going to be a pain. Ow! Quickest way to reload is just to go straight to this screen. This is going to be Billy's right here, this acid launcher or grenade launcher. We're going to grab that. Rebecca grab these shotgun shells. And we come to another statue. That white statue is going to be just like the black statue. If we pass by the hole anytime soon, we'll probably drop it in there. Now our next move we want to make sure that Rebecca has at least one slot open, which she does. Check it out. Roger. Okay, we're going to separate them. Rebecca's going to go down into the pool, this drained pool. She's going to wait right here by this cage. You're so strong, Billy. Now, believe it or not, as you do this part, you grab this key and you run out of there. You don't switch back or anything like that. You don't know how many times I've actually switched accidentally and the cage drops and kills Rebecca. Now this I should have already prepared for. I should have the grenade launcher at, on. I'm gonna aim for this thing's head. And watch that you don't hit the pole there. It's easier to get him when he's stationary instead of running around. But he will like chase you at the same time that you're running around. So you really gotta be careful. and stuff too. It's gonna be a total pain in this guy. We're trying to get him to drop her back up. And we're gonna hope we have enough bullets. 
which we actually did. Rebecca! Are you alright? Yes, thank you. I think we have to rearm Rebecca. How crazy is that? Yeah, we do. All right. Well, at least we have the key that we need. Oh, I forgot. This is the wrong way. We're not going up here yet. We're going to go back down like over by where we got the... Uh, the shotgun. This fire key is going to open very few doors, but it's going to be useful anyway. I wish there was a way to move quicker as you were playing this game. Okay. Now here the whole point of this is to actually grab this little lighter or this lighter fluid over here. Which Billy can combine with his personal lighter. There we go. Just a couple of bottles on the floor there. If you want to make more malts of cocktails. Again, anticipating the bite. Okay, and here, just to make room, we're going to drop this here. We're going to go back to that classroom where we were. I kind of like the ambiance that this game series has. It's just very creepy. You never know when something's going to like pop out. Or you hear some nasty groan and you're just like, oh boy, something's near me. Okay, this is the final door that you can use this for. Toss it. Now a lot of these puzzles kind of like seem familiar. Like this one was kind of familiar. We're going to move this table here. Some handgun ammo, got a couple of shells over here. Have more notes. 
assistant director's diary. Oh, William and Albert were in the same class, apparently. Hmm. A rivalry between William Birkin and Albert Wesker. Interesting. Okay, we're not done with this table here. We're going to push this table here. Uh, we're going to get Billy out of the way. Here we go. Carrying along. And we're just going to move this table right underneath that moose head there. Now Rebecca's going to climb. And we're going to switch to Billy. He's going to activate that switch on the wall. If he can. There we are. Did I take too much stuff? Yes, I did. out once again <clears throat> okay now here's why we had to get Billy's lighter this puzzle here actually requires it. If you notice in the painting, they have that sconce lit with a candle. So here's the sconce. And we're going to light it with the lighter. That unlock was the door right next to this sconce. No, he's not dead. Okay. These grenades will be useful. We'll just to save space combine it with Billy's current grenade launcher. Okay, now over here, this bookshelf, if you push it with Rebecca, you'll actually get the achievement or the uh, trophy for, uh, you know, like something about her not being a bodybuilder. Okay, the book is good. We're going to take it, we're going to open it. Okay, these angel wings, we're going to combine with the white statue. Which we don't have right now, but we'll have it in a little bit. Okay, our next objective is to go back to the hall where Rebecca and Billy fought the centipede. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to go all the way backwards to where Rebecca actually was uh, cranked up the elevator. 
where Billy cranked her up. Yeah, if we want to do this right now, we could even come down these steps, go get our white statue. Where do we put it? It's on the floor there. Okay. We'll combine this with the white statue. It is now evenly weighted. So when we go back up the steps, we could go over to this statue that has the scale. And we'll just drop this on it, because it's complete. Now the black statue is going to go on the other side, but we don't have the black statue completed yet. part all right let's avoid these which we didn't do successfully no Rebecca don't shoot come this way just run Rebecca run Okay, there should be nothing here anymore. Come this way. Now, this is the clock we want. Rebecca actually has the needle. And that code that we had, that's what this is going to be. We're going to put this to 8.15. Whoa, going the wrong way. So hopefully you're good with Roman numerals and telling time on an analog clock. There we go. That's how our puzzle should be. We hit OK. Those open, we can go right back. And avoid the birds, avoid the birds. Totally missed the steps, not good. Black in the classroom. Yeah, these doors aren't open yet. We open the other doors on the other sides.
Okay, well, here's a nice a verse of poetry. Mm, it's been so long since I played this game, I don't remember what that unlocks. I'm getting bit. That's not good. Billy, shoot him! Let me make sure they got all their weapons. Yeah, she's in danger. Here we go. Use that. Oh, Billy's out. That's why. Uh, really don't want him using that. Okay, hold on. Rebecca's going to have to use her shoddy. And solve all these problems. There we go. Alright, we're going to have to find more bullets. I hate running out of bullets. There's another microfilm that we need. Anything else we could rob from here? Nope, no other bullets. Okay. I believe this one unlocked something down here. This is the door we wanted to go through. There we go, solve that problem. And we solved Billy's bullet problem. Might be a smart idea to actually make some Molotov cocktails and bring them around. Alright. Let's combine this. Let's exchange this with Rebecca. And then we'll do this. We'll give this to Billy. Go back to the shotguns or the uh, handguns. I mean, okay. Now Billy. It's gonna take both these films and he's gonna go right to this projector, and we're gonna use them both in there. Okay. Yep, make sure you take the ammo disc. Okay. Yep, we're going to need that image. Now we're going to take this. We're going to go back. We may have that humanoid leech here. That, that mimicry Marcus thing. If not, we could just run through. Nope. He's there. Okay. We'll just try to run out. That other room is just a, a small room that has... It's a bathroom and it just has garbage in it. We don't really need that stuff. What we really need is to conserve bullets and survive. So there's also like another mimicry markets that comes through that door. I think there's just like a red herb and like some gas to make more models of cocktails which we don't need right now. What we do need right now is to go back to the classroom and we're going to go to the podium in the back and put this MO disc in there.
OA. I'm not sure if it's always the same. But let's see, zero A. All these seats correspond to the actual letter and number. So let's see. Here we go. Microfilm image is what we want. Okay, zero is the first one and A is second to last one on the right. Okay. So I'll check gonna it out. have them split up. Roger. Zero. A. I don't know if it had to be. Nope, didn't have to be. Okay, beautiful. There we go. Now we have all our night doors open up. First one to go through is obviously going to be the closest one. Oh, wait, wait. I actually forgot. I'm collecting all these, by the way, because there's a trophy for collecting them all. In case you didn't know, I'm like an absolute trophy whore. I will try to get every single trophy in the game. I kind of consider it like a, a, a personal challenge from the developers. And I would like to meet their challenge. I would like them to, them to know they're appreciated. touch this chessboard. We got some more bullets which we could use. All right, yeah, there was nothing else there. Okay. So now Whoops. Don't want to move that one. Come on. Get back to where you were. Wow, I can't believe this is... There we go. Okay. You, I wanted to move. One more. There we go. see nope I messed this up okay I gotta come back in and out moving that one piece just screwed it all up okay go back in okay now here's what we wanted to do I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time moving this. Okay, one, two, three. There we are. Now we're going to move you back over here. One spot. And then we're going to move you up. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time with the controls today. There we go. Now we can come over here and grab this nonsense. Now this is the Book of Evil.
Another Marcus Diary. More secrets. The progenitor virus, which will become the T virus. And then evolve into the G virus. People are... Oh, okay, wait a minute, leeches. Here's where we get the leeches. Devices I sent to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool, no doubt the work of Spencer's group. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. That's what they're after. I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. The only ones that he trusts besides the leeches. Nasty. Okay. Now we want to look in this book. And there, we found the black wing. Which we're going to use, we're going to combine that with the black statue and put that up on the scale. By the way, touching anything else here would cause, like, poison gas to, like, come up. Actually, wait a minute. I didn't check everything in that room. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Because I didn't check this side. Here we go. Yep. Napalm grenades. I'll take that. Delicious. That's an ink ribbon, it looks like. We don't need that right now. We're going to go back to the hall. The main hall, that is. Now, like I said, you want to leave everything in that main hall because it, it, you're going to be going back and forth. Just remember that. Even if you don't follow this walkthrough precisely, which you don't have to, you could, you know, try your own ways of doing things, but it, that main hall is just, it's going to be like a lifesaver just because you're going to pass through here so many times. Any excess stuff you had, even from the train, you could just drop here. You're going to pick it up anyway. The hook shot we're going to use at some point as well. Oh, I'm overburdened. Hold on. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Should combine what she can and just hit one bullet. Okay, we'll just, we'll put that over there. There we go. Okay, Rebecca will pick this up. If she can. <laughs> totally missed the hook shot. It might be a better idea too when you're dropping stuff to kind of like spread it out. So you don't have this issue where you're scrambling to pick up the right item. Okay, let's combine that. Go back up. And now, obviously, we're going to use this on the other side. And we're going to have balance. Okay. With that done, we now completed the second part of this walkthrough. We're going to go to the third part, which is the basement right down there. So thanks for joining me here today. I'll see you next time on part three when we walk through the basement. 
Have fun. Good luck. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining.